Hello there everybody, my name is Michael, and today I am playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In this video, I am going to go around getting star pieces, because I want to have 15 star pieces in total. I want to have 15 star pieces so I can buy the super useful badge with those 15 star pieces. Let's see, let's power up Goombella. Shizibi! Shazubi! No, let's not power up anybody else. So Goombella has twice as much HP now. Yeah, she went from 10 HP to 20 HP. Way to go, Goombella! Alrighty, so there's a star piece. Um, ah, hold on a second. Let me go to the bad shop first before showing you the star piece. I always like visiting the bad shop. I'm not sure why. I rarely purchase badges at the bad shop, but sometimes they have useful badges that I like. Like Happy Flower, that's a useful one. Um, power Rush, some people really love that. I mean, it increases attack power by two when Mario's in danger, so say if you had five of those equipped, it makes Mario really, really strong. So that's a strategy that some people use. It, it's not the strategy I use. Okay, so the star piece is over there. There's another star piece sort of down by the harbor. Oh yeah, and Charlie. Sometimes he has good badges too. Like Timing Tutor. That's, that's a useful one. Um, it's sort of expensive, but I think he's the only person who actually carries that badge, so you're sort of stuck. If you want that badge, you have to go to Charlie and pay his inflated prices. Alright, and we got the star piece right over there. Let me see, there's another star piece outside of Professor Frankly's, and uh, a couple of them... Let me see, how many do I have now? I have 11. I still need four more. Okay, so I'll get the one in front of Professor Frankly's, and then I'll get three inside Petalburg. Goombella, get off of the floor. I'm trying to go through the hole in the wall here. I don't seem to be succeeding. Mario, how do I go through the open doorway? It's a confusing. Okay, we're gonna solve this trouble. Because we're going to Petalburg anyway, so we might as well, you know, solve a trouble while we're there. So, um, I think it's going to take a couple of minutes for me to get all the way to Petalburg. Later on in the game, uh, there will be a shortcut to Petalburg. So that's going to be useful. Instead of taking two minutes to get to Petalburg, it's going to take, say, one minute. But we can't activate that shortcut yet. No, we still have to keep... Doing it uh, manually by going there the long way around. Okay, so the star piece inside the fortress is inside the room with the uh, mini boss battle against the red bones. You know, it's the room where we found uh, a dead body which Koops thought was his father. That room, that's the room we're looking for. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping I could avoid those enemies, because fighting the enemies is not really, well, useful anymore. 
they don't exactly give me a lot of EXP. In fact, I'm probably only going to get one EXP from this battle. a battle where I get pretty much no EXP and how much HP did I lose? I lost like 4 HP. Oh wait! Wait everybody, the curse is going to double the amount of experience I get! Now I'm getting 2 EXP! Oh my gosh, this curse is so worth it, bro. Oh man, this is great. Uh oh, more enemies. Let's try to avoid those enemies. Alright, here we go. This room. This room right over here. Uh, basically like the third room of the dungeon, right? Star piece. Great! Now let's leave and go to the village. Alright, try to avoid the enemies. Right, successfully avoided those enemies. Now, there is a badge which allows you to skip battles like that, but I don't have the badge yet. It appears sometimes in the badge shop, so... Hopefully the next time I go to the bad shop, they will have that useful badge which just lets you skip all the battles with enemies that only give you one EXP. I mean, like this battle. Yeah, it, it's not really worth my time to spend a minute fighting all these enemies for just one EXP. Well, at least I get some coins, right? Oh no, I don't get any coins, I just get one heart point. Okay, whatever. Uh-oh, enemy. Aw oh, man, really? Really, even when I go out of my way to dodge the enemies, I just can't avoid them. I don't even need to do double attacks against these enemies. I can just kill these enemies in one hit now. Alrighty. Enemy defeated. Yeah, um... A while ago, I cut out all the battles, you know? I, I cut all the battles out of the videos, but people didn't seem to like it, so I'm no longer going to try to cut out the battles. So that's why I'm still fighting enemies. Okay. Star piece near the flower guy. Nice. There's another star piece, again, near some flowers, sort of on the right-hand side of town. Right, there we go. Let's uh, say hello to all of our friends here. Let's take on the mayor's trouble. It's really simple, basically, you just talk to him until he stops talking. And if you don't really want to hear what he has to say, just keep pressing A, 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 A over and over and over again until he's finished.
Just thinking about it makes me feel awkward. Isn't memory grand? Yes, awkward memories are grand. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Mayor. Kids today, they don't know how to be patient. Alrighty, that was, uh, somewhat interesting, somewhat interesting, kind of funny. Alright, and we got a tea leaf. Which is great. So, that's an item which fills up 3 FP. Not incredibly useful, but now we have 15 star points. Alright, 15 star points. I finished my mission to collect so many star points. The general is a character who is going to become important later on. Oh well, we'll, we'll see him later. For now, let's just go back to Roveport. Oh, no way! No way! What? These enemies are back again? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well that's not good. Okay, let's fight this battle. Oh no, Koops. Koops, I was sort of expecting you to help me out there, not, you know, get knocked on your butt. I don't need more FP. Um, no thank you, don't really need it. I could use some HP though. Yeah, I could really use it. These battles have worn Mario down, and he's only gotten, what, like, five experience points out of all these battles? Okay, avoid that enemy. Avoid that enemy. Oh, wow. Just avoid all the enemies by being on the side of the screen, which is closer to the uh, person who's playing the game. Do -do -do -do. Oh, oh, I, I thought I could jump on that. Oh well. So I'm slowly but surely making my way over here. To this character. Dazzle. He has a lot of different badges, but really the only badge I want is this one. The power plus P. And I'm really not going to get any of his other badges, so I'm not going to try to collect any more star pieces from here on out. No point! I don't like any of the other badges that the star pieces can get me. I like these two badges, Power Plus, it makes Mario stronger, and Power Plus P, it makes Mario's partner stronger. So now our characters are just stronger overall, and they're ready to take on whatever challenges lie in wait in the next chapter.